Hello everybody, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, two articles I just read yesterday, one about GM and one about Ford. Um, I own a GM car and I used to own so many Ford cars, uh, but before I say that, before I share with you my thoughts, sorry about the shaking, um, I'm driving my Volt now. So you see a different camera angle because my camera mount is a, in the center of the car. But anyway, that's not what I want to say. What I want to say is um, that um, um, I remember when I was in college, uh, I had a professor who used to start, I took two of his classes. And every time we would start the class by saying, uh, a one time, a one time, one pot crack idea, a, very quickly becomes a mainstream. In other words, some of these crazy ideas that everybody thinks is the stupidest thing. I'm really sorry about the glare driving. The sun is behind me, which is not a good idea. There we go. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Anyway, so um, just bear with me. Um, so if you have a... Um, um, like in a crazy idea that everybody will make fun of you and ridicule you and then later on everybody uh, everybody like it becomes a mainstream and like everybody claims ownership to it so in in the 2000s the early 2000s when Elon Musk and Tesla came up with this crazy idea of having an electric car that you charge at home and everybody thought it was the stupidest idea ever and everybody made fun of him and and uh, if you remember the movie uh, the Re if you saw the mo if you didn't see the movie please watch it it's called the revenge of the electric car uh, I saw the who killed the, there were two of them who killed the electric car and the revenge of the electric car so watch at least the second one it's very good and how uh, uh, CNBC Wall Street analyst you made fun of him and they thought it would be the stupidest stock ever and the stupidest company anyway you get my point that everybody made fun of. So I'm reading it. I read a, an article f about GM. GM is going to release 20 new uh, electric cars in the next uh, five years, uh, and uh, two of them in the next 18 months, based on the uh, Chevy Bolt EV concept, platform, uh, lessons learned, and all that. And then I also learned about Ford creating a, a, a Team Edison. You know, as Edison, the inventor, Team Edison to move into the total electrification of their cars in the next whatever many years. And so does uh, Volkswagen and so do Mercedes and BMW and everybody is like moving towards a total electrification of their vehicles. And here we go again. I always tell it to my students and I always tell it to anybody who's it people who change the world are usually people nobody heard of people who are ridiculed or made fun of and 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 and, and, and you know and and just I, I don't have the words to, to describe uh, how how people like this change the world I mean I can give you so many examples but I'm trying to stay on the niche of, of electric cars but you, you, you know what I mean. There are so many examples of people like that uh, who changed the world. And now all these mega car companies have been around for 100 years or more. All of a sudden they're talking about the electrification and how simple it is. And now I just want to say that there are going to be a lot of winners and losers in this. There's always, there are always winners and losers in, in when a new idea like this come up. And, uh, you know, the losers, uh, you know, they're fighting back. Obviously, the oil industry, they're fighting back. But instead of doing that, and I know in New Jersey, PSNG does that, they're starting to join in. Starting to join in the solar power revolution and the electric car revolution. Instead of fighting it, because it's, it's not like it's going anywhere. Instead of fighting it, uh, join it and be part of it. So... Electric cars are not mainstream yet. They're not yet. They're still owned by a few. But um, the moment I, I can smell it, 
the moment of electric car exploding on the market and everybody's owning it and making a complete transformation is much faster much faster than you think in, in my early videos in this channel I always just talk about talk about um, um, the iPhone revolution the iPhone revolution remember I remember it I mean it's, a, it's in our lifetime it's not like talking about 150 years ago it's in our lifetime that the cell phone the, the, the mobile phone used to be this huge giant brick and 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 in, in overnight literally overnight oh i can see you now and now i can't overnight the smartphone revolution took place from the first iphone all the way now to iphone what 8 and 10 is coming and the galaxy 8 and all those and everybody's in it uh and and, and all that and uh, the digital camera and just take example here's kodak kodak who didn't think uh you know, they need to do anything different. You know, they're gone. And, and, and Blackbuster, you know, remember Blackbuster? I remember. Blackbuster didn't want to listen to what the people say. And Netflix came and took them over and they're gone. And on and on and on and on. So if you're not quick to join, to join the revolution, you're going to be staying behind and eventually extinct. So I'm glad that they are coming back. They are understanding that this is the way to go. This is the way to go. It's the only way to go. Electrifying um, uh, this whole industry and moving away from um, from uh, fossil fuel uh, in, in turn, internal combustion vehicle. Uh, uh, so uh, and, and, and and it's just it's just said that these things have to be so painful and take longer than it's necessary. Take longer than, than it's necessary. So that's that. So I'm glad to see that, that GM and Ford and Volkswagen and everybody else is doing this, is joining in. And I hope they did it faster, but it's okay. Better late than never. All right, everybody. See you, see you again with another episode. Please subscribe to my channel and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thanks.